It is that time once again to be taking two incarnations of the Doctor out of time. As in today's Doctor Who Big Finish audio drama review, I'm going to be taking a look at the second release, a part of the Out of Time series, this time The Gates of Hell, as written by David Llewellyn, featuring David Tennant as the Tenth Doctor, alongside Peter Davison as the Fifth Doctor. Of course, previously on the Horse Productions, I have already reviewed the first release, a part of this series, Out of Time 1, of course, featuring David Tennant and Tom Baker, and that was a very fun celebratory release. It did, in fact, get quite a lot of attention from Doctor Who fans, and I think this release is likely to also get quite a lot of attention as well. Of course, previously last time, we had two incarnations of the Doctor going up against the Daleks. This time round, you have two incarnations going up against an equally rather well known for being, of course, the Cybermen in Paris. So this release is available to order now on the Big Finish website. The recommended retail price for the physical CD is £10.99 and the download is £8.99. There's also a trailer which can be listened to on the Big Finish website as well as watched on the official Doctor Who YouTube channel as well as additional story details available on the Big Finish website. It is also worth noting that Out of Time can also be purchased in a bundle alongside the first and third releases including the 10th Doctor meeting of course the 6th Doctor in 2022. Firstly, taking a look at the production credits on the Big Finish website. To start off with, the cover artist is Tom Webster, and he has done a beautiful job on this release. A really lovely and stunning cover art, and it is great to see the Invasion Cybermen back. Next up, we have the music and sound design from Howard Carter. The music for this release is wonderful, especially because we have the Cybermen. Of course, we have a Cyberman episode also coming soon with the Ninth Doctor, and the little twinkle that is used in the Ninth Doctor trailer to reveal the new design design of Cyberman. The music that is seen within that is also used within this story, so it's great to see that we are starting to get brand new music scores for Doctor Who's well-known monsters within the Big Finish audio dramas. Of course, you have that music that's also used for the Tenth Doctor as well, and it has had various different renditions through the likes of the Outer Time series as well as the Dalek Universe series as well, so it's great to see that Big Finish are building up their era of Doctor Who within the new series. Next up, of course, he produced set is David Richardson, the script editor is Matt Fitton, the episode has been written by David Lewenon, the director is Ken Bentley, and the executive producers are Nicholas Briggs and Jason Haig Ellery. As always with these releases, I think that the overall production for this story is of an incredibly high quality. This episode was of course recorded remotely in lockdown, and you really can't tell very much like any other big finished audio drama. The standard is still there, and it is absolutely excellent. It's one of those stories that you can very much immerse yourself within. Building the location and the sound design of the Cybermen is also really good as well. I think that if you're somebody who is looking to get into Big Finish, I think that this episode is a considerably easy one to get along with. It's very simple and easy to kind of just sit there and enjoy it and rather visualise in your head as well. So it only really makes sense to start off this video by talking about the dynamic between the Tenth and Fifth Doctors because a rather unusual thing with these two incarnations Incarnations is A, they've already met before, of course within Time Crash, the Mini Sword Special, but also the external factor of that both David Tennant and Peter Davison are technically family. Therefore, Big Finish doing a Doctor story between the Tenth and Fifth Doctors was very, very likely to occur at some point. And very much like all Doctor Who multi-Doctor stories, the dynamic between them is very different to other Doctor relationships that we've seen play out in other multi-doctor stories on Big Finish. And I think that the reason why it is so different is because it is basically two friends chilling out, however, with a little bit of a cyber invasion thrown in there as well. I think that with the previous release, of course, the 10th and 4th Doctors, we had that whole idea almost of a power dynamic. The 4th Doctor being very loud and feeling very important, and he kind of couldn't see what was right in front of his eyes, being, of course, the Doctor, the 10th Doctor, being indeed a future incarnation of himself. He kind of 
underestimated him and then by the very end of the story we had a really lovely moment between them kind of asking each other where their futures are going and it was a really lovely story and a really lovely way to end the episode as well. This story is very different. We have two incarnations of the Doctor that mutually in fact respect each other quite a lot. Of course with the likes of say the seventh and sixth Doctors when they've met there's been a little bit of tension between them and kind of trying to one-up each other and likewise with other classic series Doctors as well there's always a little bit of snapping or say between the 10th and 11th Doctors or even the 10th and 11th Doctors against the War Doctor. There's always a little bit of tension going on with everybody trying to do the best thing however kind of clashing due to different opinions. The thing with the 10th and 5th Doctor is that they basically are just like two friends and they get along, they solve the situation and it is a team working together. There is a really lovely moment throughout this story where the 5th Doctor in fact turns to the 10th Doctor and says look, do you want to help me fly the TARDIS? And they fly the TARDIS together to a certain location and a certain point in time because they acknowledge each other's strengths and respect each other, even though the Tenth Doctor is many, many years older with much more experience, they still look up to each other. And I think that is really lovely and different. It creates a really refreshing take on a multi-Doctor story and I really enjoyed watching it because I felt like the characters were enjoying themselves, I felt like the actors were enjoying themselves and likewise for me as a listener I also enjoyed it because of that. The other character that I'm going to mention very briefly is Tina Drake as portrayed by Shelley Chon and she is a time agent and really nice, really refreshing because she kind of steps into the shoes of a companion for the episode an assistant to the Doctors but again she's kind of underestimated by the Doctors because they don't believe that she understands however it turns out that she's indeed very intelligent and yet she's a really lovely character within the story that I thoroughly enjoyed listening to. Likewise we also have Joseph DeLong as portrayed by Mark Gatiss and he is um, avoiding spoilers as much as possible. He's kind of the focus of the story and is at the heart of the Cybermen invasion but I'm not really going to explain why, but we kind of get a really lovely insight into his life through various different time periods, meaning that we see him a little bit older and younger, and I think that overall Mark Gatiss does a very good job of bringing that character to life, but likewise David Lewenon does an incredible job of writing all of these characters and making them all leap off the page. Again, it's one of those stories that I think that if you are new to Big Finish, it's very easy to get along with because all of the characters are so different. There is a little bit at the very beginning where you have a lot of people mentioned, however, as you will find out within the story, Story. Those brief characters that are mentioned here and there to kind of introduce the setting aren't necessarily that important, they're kind of just there to make it feel real. But once you get into the heart of the story, you have your central characters and they're very easy to distinguish against each other, making it a very easy listen to experience. So what is the plot for this story? Well, keeping it very, very basic and simple, basically the Fifth Doctor goes back in time because he has identified a rather unusual time event of a paradox, and the Tenth Doctor equally also goes back in time. However, the TARDIS gets thrown off course and he ends up in the same location as the Fifth Doctor. And how we start off the story is we have the two different incarnations doing their different things, and basically the Fifth Doctor, something happens to him and the Tenth Doctor needs to pick up the pieces. And what I really love about this story is that it gets going instantly. Within the first 10 minutes we have the exposure of the Cybermen. It's not one of those episodes that hides the fact that the Cybermen are in it and it basically just gets straight in there with the drama and with the fun and very much like Out of Time 1 it uses the story to its advantage. It's not one of those multi-doctor stories that basically leaves everything up until a scene at the very end to have the dynamic between the Doctors being explored which I think is often a missed opportunity because at the end of the day the main reason why we're listening to a multi-doctor story is to hear these doctors come together and work together or not work together. So this story both out of time one and out of time two do a very good job of dealing with that dynamic. The doctors are the main focus of the story and in particular these two incarnations do carry it very very well. Equally for the Cybermen they are a great foe for the story. It's great to have the invasion of Cybermen back. They do sound very good in 
indeed of course Nicholas Briggs has gave them a little bit of an upgrade for this story this certainly sounded a lot more effective compared to what they were within the 60s of Doctor Who within the second Doctor era however I think they do sound quite new series at the same time they have a little bit of a clank in the way they walk a very slight tweak they could indeed sound like Russell T Davies era Cybermen which I would love to see them explore that at some point I would love to have an era focused around the parallel universe Cybermen maybe like going back and dealing with some of their invasions or something like that that would be quite cool but we have the Cybermen invading time and basically changing the events World War II never happens and the Cybermen take over and as a result the universe is at stake because what multi-doctor story wouldn't be complete without the universe being at stake and I'm not going to lie this episode isn't necessarily 100% original. I think it's just one of those episodes that is a lot of fun. We have the Doctors going back in time trying to figure out when the Cybermen initially hatched their plan and then we have them building on that so we kind of have the main event of the invasion and then them working back in time from that point and trying to dissect certain clues. There's a lovely moment where the Doctors go to an archive and basically give us all the context. Equally at the same time I imagine that say if this was a two hour monthly range episode we would have had maybe a bit more focus on the different time periods and the different characters that we meet along the way. There's a lovely moment where the Cybermen basically meet one of the kings in the past and order him, they stand at the end of his bed and order him to do something and it's a lovely mythical story that has been passed down over the generations and it's very very ominous that idea of waking up and a Cyberman or a silver soldier kind of being stood at the end of the bed and delivering in the normal emotionless way that they do an order that he feels that he has to do because he's living in fear due to it. I think that was a really lovely aspect of the story. I would have maybe liked to see a bit more. In particular, there's a moment where the Cybermen win, of course, as they do, and they do indeed invade, and they invade Paris, and they take over, as opposed to it being overridden by Nazis within the World War. And personally, for me, I would have loved to see more of that. I would have loved to see more of the cyber-controlled version of Paris, and the Cybermen actually taking over. It reminds me of the series 2 two-part Cyberman story, Age of Steel, where we have the Cybermen taking over the parallel world and they fully dominate London, a Battersea power station being turned into a cyber factory and they're marching along the streets and kind of the team with Pete and Rose needing to figure out what's going on and jumping between the different alleyways. It was lovely to see the companions being thrown into a situation where the Doctor hasn't won and I would have liked to see more of that throughout this story, seeing what the Cybermen were up to, perhaps even a conversion in there as well. It would conversion scenes when it comes to Cybermen because they are very grim and I think the big finish do them very well. So yes, this episode is possibly missing a bit more invasion -y stuff and some conversion but that doesn't mean to say that it's not enjoyable. It does a very good job of padding out all of the characters that we see throughout the episode but equally delivering a very interesting narrative as well. It's one of those stories that is fast paced like the vast majority of new series Doctor Who. It delivers a one hour story that is both entertaining, dramatic, does a great presentation of the Cybermen. It's great to see David Llewellyn actually writing the Cybermen. I do believe that he mentions in the behind the scenes that it's the first time that he has written for them, which is rather unusual given that he's a rather regular and well-known name at Big Finish, but he does a great job of writing them. But for those of you that have listened to a lot of Big Finish, that have listened to a lot of Doctor Who adventures from many different eras, I imagine that some of you out there might be expecting a bit more. For example, if this was a story with a longer duration, I would have loved to see that that whole idea of the invasion being played with a bit more, a few conversion scenes in there, and maybe just seeing the Cybermen walking around the catacombs under Paris, because that would really make the episode stand out. However, I understand why that hasn't been done, because they do have a very strict time limit to contain the story within, and considering that, it does a very good job of delivering the narrative overall. So in conclusion for Out of Time 2, The Gates of Hell, as written by David Llewellyn, another fun and entertaining story, a part of this series, and it is a perfect listen for those of you who are looking for a release to get into Big Finish. You don't have to have listened to Out of Time 1 in order to understand this story. This episode delivers all of the context that you need, and overall, it is a very fun episode that I do certainly recommend if you're looking for a one-hour Doctor Who story that is kind of a fun, motivated 
motivational episode which takes you out of reality for a bit is simply a bit of entertainment. This episode is most certainly for you. However, it wouldn't be fair to say that this stretches the structure of a Doctor Who Cyberman story. It delivers a fun, enjoyable episode. However, it doesn't go beyond that to deliver a more experimental Cyberman story, simply just to give the Cybermen a little bit more to do. But other than that, a really enjoyable story. I really enjoyed listening to it. And if you are looking for a Doctor Who story, which deals with the dynamic between two Doctors on a rather different relationship, yes, this story is most certainly for you as well. And with that, of course, the next release, a part of this series, is Out of Time 3, featuring the 10th Doctor meeting the 6th Doctor as they team up against the Weeping Angels, which naturally, I'm very, very, very much looking forward to that story in 2022, so quite a way off yet. However, to be honest, it's gone very quickly between Out of Time 1 and 2, so I guess it will feel like no time at all before that third release comes out. So thank you very much for watching this review, I really hope you have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned on the Horse Productions for regular Doctor Who content, from Big Finish audio drama reviews, product reviews, and much, much more. So thanks for watching, have a nice day, and I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.